All right, how's it going? This is Cole Rolf, and welcome back to RimWorld. The sun is shining, the butterflies are fluttering, the muffalos are grazing. It's a lovely day in RimWorld today, but that's not why we're here. We're here because of these shadows, this group of shadows, which has come to rain on our party on this lovely sunny RimWorld day. This 15th of September. 5507. Yeah, we got mechanoids dropping in on us. Already cleared the uh, the raid warning, so let's get everyone up and figure it out here. Um, let's see. Uh, Non-combatants, let's... We can probably work our way to the um, the hospital area. And everyone else I'm going to want set up over here. It looks like we've got two shadows, maybe three outside. So there, we're going to fight them right away. These group are landing in the bedrooms, which is kind of nice because it breaks them up. But anyways, let's get everyone else over here as fast as possible, please. And thank you. Let's set up right here. Um, let's see. Kinda need Livy out. Um, okay, we've got Harry over here and Krika. Just wondering where our melee combatants are, because they're gonna be the we're gonna want them in close real fast. Okay. There we go. Okay, there is two outside. So Buffy, we're gonna have you move right over here. Krika, you can stay right there. That's that's great, Eel. Right here. And Dana, sorry, I know you're injured. Uh, right here. Maisie, as long as you're behind a melee, you can be right there, there. Uh, Livy, you're okay behind Krika, I guess. Okay, over here. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. They're gonna pop out, and Maverick, you can just stop. Stop right there. Please. There we go. Okay, Scyther's everywhere. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Why did, why did Tyler get shot in the... Oh, right. Mini turret behind us. Uh, okay. Tyler and Hayden, please move down. Okay. There. Okay, we got that one. Okay, so these guys are going to start working their way out, so let's have you guys move up, and you guys move... Meleeers move in. Uh, this is kind of congested. Okay, yep, they're going right through there, okay. As long as you go there, you go right there, and everyone else has a shot somewhere. <laughs> it's kind of a mess. Ah, uh, there we go, there we go, um, I just want to make sure you guys are in close enough, because I don't want you shooting and hitting each other. Yeah, there, uh, David with the minigun, can you make your way right, right there? There, everyone close enough? I don't know, this is a lot of micromanaging, but, um, yeah, let's have you go up here. Okay. There. Yeah, because they need to kind of be within uh, three tiles of each other, otherwise they're going to start uh, accidentally shooting each other in the back. Okay, good. This looks like a decent setup. <laughs> uh, is that one still in there? Okay. Okay, good. We're just gonna let it mess up its room, or that room, while we set up. Okay, and just a real quick check. Is there anyone really hurt? Because I... yeah, okay. Let's get Tyler. Dana's just injured from before. Krika. Uh, yeah, we should have enough melee combatants so you can go get healed. Okay. Heal. You're there, Dana there. Ok, 
Okay. Yeah, you guys. Uh, Tyler, go get. No, 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 no. Rest until he. Okay, fine. Go rest until healed somewhere else. Ah. Okay, okay, you guys, come on up here. You should be able to get in close enough. Good, everyone's nice and tight. And then we're gonna have Eel. We're gonna have the door hold open. We're gonna have you run forward and then run back. And then run back. There we go. Boom. Okay. Okay, okay. Oop, I forgot to unrecruit you guys. Um, so you'll start tending to people. Um, okay, you're being tended, you're being tended. Crike, is anyone tending you? Hayden. Okay. Okay. That should be alright. Harry, how badly are you injured? Oh, that's from before, from fighting the... And that's also from before fighting the insectoids. Oh my goodness. What a mess. Cassandra is definitely kicking it up a notch. <laughs> oh, yeah, and these rooms are destroyed. Let's just get this stuff out of here. Nice thing is these mechanoids are going to provide some much needed components. And I believe we still have components. Yeah, we still got a lot of stuff up here we need to haul in. There's still quite a bit of life on them because uh, this didn't uh, happen that long ago. All right, well let's um, let's unforbid this, but let's also get it uh, reinstalled elsewhere. Actually, we're gonna we are gonna try this one. Um, yeah, there, and see what that deposit is. And did this get moved? Yeah, there's still a little bit of silver in that deposit. Good. Probably have to go over some of these deposits because I've completely forgotten what they were. I know there's like chem fuel and gold there. I think that's chem fuel. I don't know if I checked that one. Maybe I did. I don't know. Anywho. I'm good. We're getting this turret set up. I noticed actually in that fight we need to move this turret over just a little bit more. And... Looks like it's going to have to be repaired. But, um... Yeah, look at that. We got little... Little funny redundancies. Let's do this. Boom. Just make another loop. And... Let's just do that. Just a little bit of additional... Um... Uh, redundancy in our grid. Would be good. Oh! Eel and Livia are already... Working away. We've got a good bed. Livy's bed didn't get destroyed. Okay. All right. Cleaning up. Good stuff, guys. Ah, we still have stuff to clean up from the previous raid. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, lots of things for everyone to do. Let's turn back time to uh, two speed. Maverick, get off that! <laughs> Please, it's supposed to be moved. Progress to the next portion. Maverick. Come on, someone... Okay, here, go do something else. Actually, can you haul that? Um, can I get you to do that? No, no, I didn't mean to... Sorry. Can I get you to prioritize moving it? There we go. That's the better option. Thank you, Maverick. Okay. Mechanoids are getting disassembled, which means we're getting some more plasteel. Good. Lexi is working on an advanced component. That's right, because we set this up so that we would make these the advanced components before we made regular components. Although Paul just probably picked up, yeah, just a regular component. Well, you know what? That's fine. We really do need those. Okay. Tons of repair work going on. Oh, you're already working on this? What is it? It's gold. Um, yeah. I guess there's less of a need for plasteel, but um, rather, rather if we're working on that instead. Oh, good, we're getting these moved, buffy, 
Rather, you move these components and these, well, the package survival meals, basically everything else other than the steel. The steel is not going to rot on its own. Just noticing these two small deposits we'll have to take a look at. Oh well. Well, overall, we didn't get that injured by that, um, uh, that event. Oh, what? Item stash. Resurrector Max Serum. Huh. Guarded by nine enemies. Well... Hmm. We haven't... I, we're gonna pass on that. We've got enough things to worry about right now, like getting our ship completed. A Resurrector Serum might be nice, but... These... You know, rec resurrecting these guys at this point is... They're they're what they're well decomposed, and it's it's kind of a let's just let the dead rest at this point. We haven't um, put in put anyone that's died in a crypto sleep casket to try to save them. Yeah, yeah, we'll just leave that. Yeah, okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up another turret in here, and. Maybe this turret, set it up in this spot. There we go. And just have a couple more turrets around the base. Just for a bit of added protection. Hopefully not shooting us on the back. They kind of do that, they don't really have a friendly fire sequence. <laughs> or I mean, they don't know how to distinguish foe from friend. So they tend to engage in friendly fire if you get in their way. Anyways, let's see. Um, hmm. These construction jobs really get need to get done sometime, guys. I know there's a lot to do. Okay, Eel is working on some of them. Good. We still have these traps to get done. Yay, Dana brought in the components. That means we'll have 40 finally, and that uh, job will probably shut off. And these, these will be nice to get pulled in. Because that's another thing. I think we need to set up more shells to be manufactured. Because um, it's fine for now. But I'm thinking when we turn this thing on, we're going to want to have a supply of shells that we're just ready to go. Because we may, may not be able to make, make them in between. Um, hmm. what else did I see when I was looking around? Yeah, Harry has switched out his, um, his tainted helmet with a non-tainted one, as they will, so that was because I unforbid it, or, uh, removed the forced wear from that. So when he gets better, I'm gonna force him to wear it again and not, not remove the, uh, uh, the flagged that it's forced wear. So that way he keeps wearing it. Okay, well, some stuff's getting done here still. Good. Oh, and those shells are coming in, and Harry is fully healed. Harry, you're now... Yes, you're going back to research, but let's let's come on over here. Sorry, you're going to have to wear this. You've got a optimist mood buff, so it kind of offsets the debuff that you're getting. It more than offsets it. So you'll be fine, you'll just be like everyone else. No added bonus. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Definitely have some junk to sell. Oh, and when Quing, you've... Tube television, okay. Um... Oh, sure, let's go for flat screen. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, Wen Quing, you are our talker, so we're gonna have to force force you to wear that. There you go, sorry. It will give you a little bit of a buff when you negotiate, so that's more important. Okay. Yeah, so I guess it's just a lot of cleanup from what we've been doing. Uh, I could use someone butchering just to get rid of all these um, insectoids. Logging up a place. Let's see, who's a, who's a good cook? Or at least a cook that's not working on cooking. Let's move down so we can see David is... Dana is not... Where are you, Dana? 
You're sleeping. All right, fine. Krika, where are you? Krika, hauling steel. That's nice. Please prioritize butchering. I'll probably have you do that in the morning, too, just to turn those into insect meat, and then we'll turn it into kibble and just get rid of all that stuff in our room. Freezer there, so that would be that'd be good. Yep, there you go. Just keep grabbing them. I'll let you. I'll uh, flick you over so you go to sleep soon. Well, let's just make some progress on this. Thank you. All right. Well, well Livy's bed is still a horrible wreck. Wow, sixteen percent left. Oh, and we've got. Uh, we're still holding your door open. Sorry about that, Livy. There you go, a little bit of privacy. <laughs> so many things to repair. Okay, Krika, thank you for your service. There you go. Go to sleeps. There we go, just tidying up a few things. I had a few people signed to construct. I think um, possibly to deconstruct or move some things a little while ago. And I had Eel as a doctor, as an emergency, I think, to try to rescue that prisoner. So just. Cleaning up the priorities, because I noticed a few people doing things that um, normally they wouldn't do. I had Paul, he was uh, constructing something over here. It was only a five construction. Eels, I don't think Eel was tending anyone, but don't really want her to. You're not really a doctor, it was just a emergency procedure. Uh, okay, Krika, hauling steel. Thank you for hauling steel. Please go back to butchering. <laughs> You're doing a good job there. You made some insect meat. Once that's done, hopefully you'll start making some kibble out of that uh, meat, because we definitely don't want to eat that. Here's the debuff, because it is disgusting. <laughs> Can't imagine, you know, I know people eat insects and whatnot, but it's usually the smaller ones, so they're kind of crunchy. Not a gigantic man-sized beast that's, you know, ugh. imagine a man-sized spider and then someone cooking it up and using that meat to make a, some meal. Ugh. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself sick. Uh, just talking about it. Okay. Okay, let's talk about something else. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, we've almost got this stuff picked up. And even the um, uh, slag chunks over there. Let's see, is this how far are we on this silver deposit? Yeah, it looks like we've just got one or two more. It's a little hard to see if that's... I think that's orange, so maybe two more. And then we'll move that down possibly over here. Got quite a bit more gold there, so that's not a... That is not a concern. Yeah, then we'll just move around and see what else is around the map. It would still be nice to find more plasteel. So I know we bought some. We've got 147 now, which is good. Um, you know, we bought more. Yeah, all those mechanoids are disassembled. So, you know, we'll still need quite a bit more for advanced components. I'd have to go you know, and actually calculate if we have enough for what we need right now. But I would like to build more autocannon turrets, but they require another 40 each. So, yeah, I'm going to hold off until we know we've got enough. Oh good, Krika is making kibble. Excellent. Oh, and it is midnight, so Krika, we're just going to let you go to sleep, or eat a simple meal and then go to sleep. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work. How much do we got? 670. That's going to be a lot of kibble. We could actually use a passing traveler to trade with. We just have some random random junk that we can sell now. Poor Krika is still sleeping after all that forced work we gave him. I mean, I guess probably about half the colony is still sleeping. It's only 8 a.m. Oh, there we go. Everyone woke up. Good. Everyone, let's start your days. And he's hauling slate blocks. Where is there? Hauling ambrosia. Oh, there's probably just some sitting there. 
And someone dropped off some ambrosia and just left it randomly on the ground. Well, thank you for picking that up and putting it away. Good, we got some rice coming in. Make some room. Hmm. I should go back to building... Building? Uh, cooking up kibble. Hmm. Yeah, lots of hauling and... Well, you know what? You're doing tons and tons of hauling jobs. Let's just let you do that for a little bit. Oh, I got a little bit more silver out of this. 40? Yeah, it's not much, but it's not bad. Pretty much just free coins. You just turn the machine on for a little while and coins pop out of the ground. That's, that's how this works. That's how silver is mined. Yep. That's exactly how it works, kids. <laughs> Uh, Dana, what are you up to? Oh, there's some meds over here. Huh. That must have been from the siege. Or maybe someone dropped it. One of the raiders. Who knows? Oh well. Free meds. That's nice too. Eel is working on another vacuum crypto sleep casket. Great. So that means we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're over halfway there. Wonderful. It's really coming along. We'll pick it up next time. Thanks everyone for watching. Take care. <laughs>